Hello there. I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. Text neck. That is something that is becoming more and more frequent. Uh, and it's kind of what it sounds like. You know, text neck is caused by prolonged flexion of the head and neck. When you have your head and neck in neutral, the weight of your head produces about 12 pounds of force onto your neck. When you have your neck at about a 30 degree angle, that force is now increased to 40 pounds. When you have your head and neck at a 60 degree angle, that is now 60 pounds. That's like having a small child on your shoulders. And that prolonged flexion of the neck starts to weaken and elongate the muscles and tendons in the back. That leads to a multitude of problems. When you bring your head forward, your upper back automatically bows a little bit further backwards to compensate. And to compensate for that upper back bowing, your low back bows forward. So when you have your head flexed forward like that, it affects your entire spine, but primarily neck and upper back. And the symptoms of Tex neck are neck pain, but also shoulder, arm pain, headaches, those type of things you ask yourself, well, what can I do to reduce text neck? Well, decreasing the amount of time you spend with your head flexed forward be a good start. And things like, instead of holding your phone down, hold it further up so that you don't have to bend your head forward. Or if you have to hold it down, rather than bending your head forward, try just looking down with your eyes. Sometimes that can be helpful. There are any number of devices, holders for, for phones, for iPads, that can relieve the stress on your arms and shoulders from holding that up all the time. Also, just being mindful of your posture can make a difference. And there are stretches that you can do that will also be helpful. Because the problem is caused by having your head bent forward all the time, that won't be one of the stretches you're going to do. But the opposite, where you bring your head backwards, will be helpful. Flexing your head to one side, flexing it to the other, rotating it one way, rotating it the other way. Those are good stretches. And you want to also include a little bit of strengthening with those. So when you bring your head all the way back, have your hand on the back of your head and make your head work a little bit to go backwards. Make it work a little bit to go sideways. Make it work a little bit to rotate. Those can be helpful. Also, as far as treatment for text neck, gentle manipulation can be very helpful. Physical therapy in the form of ultrasound, electrical muscle stim, those things can be helpful. Massage can make a big difference. And things like traction and stretching can also be very helpful. Um, when you are texting with your head flexed forward, adults tend to do two to four hours a day of that. That translates into about 700 to 1400 hours a year. If you're a high school student, just make that 5,000 hours a year. They do it a lot more than anybody else. And that adds up. That can create some significant problems. So try to be a little mindful of how much time you spent with your head flexed forward. And uh, hopefully you won't have any problems. If you do, try some of the things that were mentioned. And in the meantime, have yourself a good day. Thanks for your time.